An inmate is stabbed dozens of times by another inmate at SCI Dallas in Luzerne County. That assault comes less than two weeks after a female counselor was assaulted by an inmate inside that same prison. The I team's Andy Mahalshik is live now in Jackson Township with the story. Andy? Well, good evening, Candace. The attack on that female counselor several weeks ago was the focus of a scheduled meeting between State Representative Aaron Coffer and officials from the union that represents corrections officers here at SCI Dallas and other state prisons across the Commonwealth. They met today and they insist more has to be done to protect prison staff, corrections officers, as well as inmates. Today there was a, an inmate assault on one another, and I shouldn't even say it was an assault. Uh, an inmate was stabbed 27 times here. Um, we actually saw the blood. We saw you know, the shaken up staff that was here today. State Representative Aaron Coffer describes what he saw Monday inside SCI Dallas. This after an inmate assaulted another inmate. Coffer says the inmate was stabbed. Ironically, he and three officials from the Pennsylvania State Corrections Officers Association were on their way to meet with prison managers to discuss the September 10th attack on a female counselor when the inmate on inmate attack took place. Coffer insists attacks like these can be prevented if the DOC implements stricter punishment on inmates. There's no doubt that we need to be looking to make sure that there is better safety inside of our state corrections institutions, as well as making sure that the procedures are in place so that when there are warning signs and when there, there is these threats of violence or violent tendencies, that there's actually measures being taken place. A lot of the concerns are just the disciplinary process in general and how lax it has gotten. They all agree that there needs to be action taken to make sure that inmates realize there are consequences for their actions. They believe Monday's meeting and tour of the facility will go a long way in making that happen. And to talk to the men and women that work there every day, that work on these housing units, that sometimes feel that they don't have a voice to, um, for the public or for the representatives to know what happens. And that was my sense of accomplishment today. A spokesperson for the State Department of Corrections issued a statement that reads in part, We meet regularly with union officials and provide information to legislators. We are pleased that all parties with interest in the state prison are meeting to discuss the issues. It's through these meetings and cooperation that we can all work together to ensure a safe prison for our staff and inmates. Now, State Representative Aaron Coffer and the union are going to hold a two public meetings on October 15th at the VFW in Kingston, one at 10 o'clock in the morning and one at 4.30, to get public input, they say, to make the public aware and to add more pressure to the DOC to make improvements to safety measures inside these prisons. Reporting live outside SCI Dallas in Jackson Township, Luzerne County, Andy Mohal, Chicago Witness News. Candace, back to you. Thank you, Andy. And the inmate who was assaulted today remains hospitalized with numerous injuries. The prison counselor has been released from the hospital.